I don't know total, but I would say just pushing cards. Um, I don't know, close to 200. And then, and then just for lighting, I think I've gotten before, because I'm usually with the cards, I'll get like 60 volunteers. And the interesting part about this is some of these volunteers have worked on more Super Bowls than we have. Like we got, we got this group years and years ago. They're from Riverside, you know, big guy. Named Tyson. They all come out with their wives, and this is like their vacation. They they come push carts or they or they do whatever. During the day, they go see whatever city we're in, and um, some of them have done, you know, 15, 20 Super Bowls. Legends. It's amazing yeah. That, yeah. that they do so many, yeah. and they're just volunteering. Some really time. older mom with their wives. You know, I remember, you know, I don't say no names, but I remember uh, this, this older gentleman seeing them for like eight years in a row, and then one year I see him. I want to say we're in Minneapolis. I see him without his wife and I'm just like oh you know because they're kind of older I was like I was scared to ask you know I was like how's your wife yeah and you don't like, want to be disrespectful yeah, yeah. yeah and she's like oh you know I was, I was scared of the answer but she's like oh he was like uh it's just too cold out here for her she stayed home I was like oh thank god but you know um yeah. but th these guys they they come and they also know like like the ones that we always use the, the volunteers they look for us and 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 they already know like like once they start doling out uh, volunteers to different departments, they just kind of hang back. They're like, you know, I need forty people to come this way, and they're just like, they just stay there, they hide, whatever, and then they're like, all right, I need a uh, you know sixty with lighting, and then right, let's go, and they all get up, they all come over, you know. Well, what about the safety precautions? Because these are volunteers; these are not like trained professionals. I think a few of them have like gotten injured, like small things, I would say sprained ankles and stuff like that. And so I think they started having to pay them so that they could go on like workers comp and stuff like that if they did get hurt. So like, but for many years, they were just unpaid volunteers. And then, and then recently, I think, I mean, I think with everything corporate America changing, I think they were like, Hey, this, you know, this ain't gonna, so they started paying them probably minimum wage or whatever, but they started paying them. And, and, uh, so, so now they get paid apparently. Are they with you? For the whole load in, or they're they there, just... they're there before we get there, and and we see them all the way up to 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 the show. As soon as as soon as the the show's over, they come, shake hands, see you next year. They walk out, and then we don't see them again after that. 